Hey everybody, I welcome you to my channel and I welcome you to today's Photoshop tutorial. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to color grade any image step by step in Adobe Photoshop. Now, at the end of this video, you should be able to color grade any picture at all using Adobe Photoshop, even if you are just starting out as a beginner, right? And I'm going to walk you through the step by step all the way from color lookup tables to the advanced toner adjustment that you need to make. I also walk you through the tools that professionals use in color grading photos using Adobe Photoshop and how you can also apply them to your own work. Right Now you can consider this tutorial as a full masterclass on how to color grade photos in Adobe Photoshop. Yes, I said Adobe Photoshop because I am using Adobe Photoshop. But then you can apply the knowledge in this video in any other um, editing software, being it Lightroom or any other editing software that you can think of. You can apply this knowledge in this particular video in any other editing software. That is why I said you can also consider this video as a full masterclass on how to color grade pictures. All right. So first, let's import our image, but let's first open our Adobe Photoshop and then let's import our image or the photo that we are going to use. So go to the file, click on open, and then I have the image here, right? Great. So this is the image. Now, I am using this portrait image, but then you can use um, a landscape or product shots anything you want to enhance. Now, before we jump into the main objective, I want to um, explain what color grading is. Color grading is the process of adjusting colors and tones of a particular picture to set a particular picture in a mood, right? There is a process of adjusting colors and tones to set a particular photo or a picture in a particular mood and also to correct lighting and create visual harmony. This is the meaning of color grading, basically. And then you realize that at the end of every color grading, you are going to um, get, or the picture is going to give some kind of a mood or a tone. Some in images after color grading will give you cinematic mode. Some will give you nostalgic and some will even give you the vintage feel, all right? And understanding this theory will help you as a designer to work or design or even color grade intentionally and not randomly. I'm going to take that again. I said, understanding this theory will help you as a designer to work or design or even color grade intentionally and not randomly. Now, what is the theory? The theory is what I just said earlier about the um, pictures giving mode after color grading. Now, let's move on to um, the color grading itself. The first thing we're going to look at is the first step is the color lookup adjustment. So, first of all, select this image, your image right here, and then come down to the, the adjustment layer here. Click on it and then look for the color lookup. All right. So, this is the color lookup. Click on it and then Take note of this, that the color lookup adjustment is the quickest way to apply cinematic tones to any image at all. And so when you are color grading a picture, when you are color grading an image, the quickest way to add a cinematic mode to that particular image that you are color grading is to use the color lookup adjustment. All right, now when you come here, toggle this, don't toggle this, don't toggle this, toggle the 3D LUT file here. And then come down, click on this drop down arrow here. You are going to see a whole lot of options. Pro tip number one anytime you are color grid, make sure you use the teal orange plus contrast or the grasp warm dot look or night from the where is it? Yeah, night from the dot cube or the late sunset.3dl don't forget these four different 3d LUTs. i said you can use the tail orange plus contrast or the night from um night from day.u or the late sunset.3dl or the grasp warm 
um, look. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to use the grace warm look. So click on it. The next thing I'm going to do is to um, add some fine tuning using curves. All right. So click on this guy here. Come down to the adjustment layer again. Click on it and then click on curves. Now, this is where the real magic starts to happen. The first thing I'm going to do is to start with a basic S curve to enhance the contrast of the picture itself. So we are going to adjust this to get an S curve, S letter S curve here to um, enhance the contrast of the entire picture. So watch this, come here, click and then move it to the top a little bit like this. And then you come down to this place and then move it down like this. This is okay. We can um, go ahead and then make it more or less. I mean, you can go ahead and then increase or move it up as you want, but then we are going to leave it like this for the sake of this tutorial. All right, now this is good for me. Now, what we just did is that we increased the contrast of this in it. But then, when you come here and you click on this drop down arrow, you are going to see RGB, you will see red, you will see green, and then you are also going to see blue. But when we were doing the adjustment, we selected or we, it was on RGB, which means that we enhanced the contrast for all the three colors here, for red, for green, and for blue. But you can also go ahead and then adjust then individually. So you select the red, and then you adjust the contrast. You select the green, we do the same. You select the blue, and then you adjust the contrast. But we are not going to do that in this feature. We'll just do it for all the three. That is why the option was on RGB. All right. Now let's go back and then let's go to um selective color. So you can see that when we added the color lookup and then when we added the curves, the picture has transformed. So if I should toggle or turn off the layer visibility for the color lookup and then turn off the layer visibility for the curves, we realize that this is how our picture was looking until we added the color looker and then the curves good so the next thing we are going to do is the selective color now come down to the adjustment layer again and then click on selective color and then here we are going to use the selective color to target and shift specific color ranges now when you come to colors so you are going to see reds yellows greens cyan's all the way to black so we are just going to adjust these colors individually all right so first let's click on the reds and then let's increase the cyan from 0% to 3% and then let's come to magenta and then decrease it to minus 7 and then let's come to the yellow and then let's increase it to a plus of 9 then let's come to the blue sorry the black and then let's increase it to 6 good now let's come back kicking and then select the we won't do anything to the yellow, we will just leave the yellows as it is. So come to greens and then increase the cyan to 100. And then the magenta should be minus 100. And then the yellow should be um 38, a plus of 38. And then let's increase the black to 100. Right now, you realize that. When we did the changes here, the background, which is green, which has a green color, transformed. Good. Now the next thing or the next color will be blacks. So we will leave all the colors and then come to blacks and then change the singing to plus two. And then leave the magenta at zero and then yellow at zero and then the black at zero. Now let's click on this guy. Now, the reason why it's so important to always add selective color to your photo when you are color grading is that the selective color layer or the selective color to what it does to your image is that it gives it a natural look whilst giving it a stylish touch. So the next thing we are going to do is to add some fine adjustment to our photos. So we are just going to add some final balancing to our image. So come to the adjustment layer and then click on hue and saturation. Um, click on hue and saturation. Then increase the hue to a plus of four. And then the saturation, give it a plus of 10. 
and then the uh, lightness should be minus two good now let's come to brightness come here and then select brightness um brightness and contrast and then increase the brightness to 20 and then the contrast will increase it to 10. good now let's come back again exposure where is exposure come to exposure and then let's um, increase it to 0 0.40 and then leave the offsets like this and then the gamma correction like this good now listen to this carefully the hue and saturation we just added what it does is that it controls the color intensity of the picture that you are color grading also the brightness and then the contrast what it also does is that it makes sure that the tone is not crashed right and earlier on i said that at the end of the day or at the end of every color grade you should get a tone or the color should give you some kind of mood or feeling and then what the brightness and the contrast that is that at the end of the day it makes sure that the color or the tone of the the picture you are color grading does not crash or doesn't wash away and then the exposure what it also does is that it's um preserve the color grading work it's only preserve the color grading work now we are done with our color grading so let's put all of these into a folder so on your keyboard press on the shift key select the color lookup um layer press on the shift key and then click on the exposure layer drag it all the way to the folder icon here good and then you can rename it as um color grading or right? color grading presets or anything so here here is the transformation this is the before this is how our picture was looking before and then this is the after this is the before and this is the after you notice how the mood and the style of this picture completely shifted with just a few layers less that is the power of color grading so this is the before this is the after now one thing you need to know is that color grading is not about copying someone else's look it's not about um duplicating someone else's look but then it's all about creating the schwa style in this video tutorial helped you drop a like subscribe to the channel and leave a comment with your questions your results or your feedback thank you so much for watching this video to the very end more photoshop content is coming soon thanks for watching and keep creating